With everything that's happened globally in the last few years, the price of the cost of living has increased phenomenally, uh, which has led us to take stock and work on becoming a bit more self-sufficient on the farm, growing and producing our own food. Obviously we started with producing the goat's milk on the farm, which we drink when the goats are in milk. We've also um, expanded the veggie garden in a big way and recently we got our chickens, so we've got a good supply of eggs coming through. Now the next step, because we love a bit of lamb, actually we love a lot of lamb, was to get our own sheep, hence the Aussie White. We're heading over to my mate Crystal's place to pick out some sheep. We're aiming to come home with about five ewes and a ram lamb, and that'll get us started. We're going to build our herd with those first initial lot of ewes and ram, and then we'll be eating the progeny after that. We're at Crystal's place now and she's brought in all the Crystal sheep for us to have a look point. at. We're going to draft off five ewes and a lamb ram and give them a good look over. You can tell that Shane's a cattle person, not a sheep person. The things that we're looking for in the sheep are good conformation, good size, we're looking for a well shedding animal and we're looking for dark tips on the nose and on the feet. That indicates they're going to have less foot problems going forward. Before we take the sheep to our place, we're going to run them through a copper sulfate foot bath, which will address any foot rot issues. Now there's no water hooked up at this yard, so we've brought in some water with the tractor. Some of the animals here have had some foot problems in the past, so we're going to check them all out, give them a trim and make sure they're fit and healthy before we send them to our place. You don't have to shear them, obviously, because they're a shedding breed. They're a lot easier to handle than dorpers, and they're a bit um, nicer on fences than dorpers. Mm -hmm. They they produce really well. Like they tend to twin, have lots of twins, um, and they. How are they for eating? Beautiful. Their meat is really not tender. They're been you know promoted as the wagyu of lamb mm -hmm. so they've got a fair bit of marbling in them mm -hmm. which um, obviously makes the meat a lot juicier and tastier mm -hmm. um, they yield really well like when we've butchered our own they've um they've there's not a lot of waste uh -huh. from the carcass um i use all the trimmings for mints and yeah, it's just a really nice meat. And um, you're a family of four. How many would you butcher a year? Oh, we would butcher probably for us eight, but we eat a lot of beef and other things as well. But uh -huh. yeah, we'd probably butcher eight, eight to ten a year for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, that's two tooth. Oh, okay. So he's lost his two baby teeth at the front. Oh. And he's got two grown up teeth. And then they go four tooth, which is the, these teeth, they uh -huh. get the two big ones. Okay. And then, then they get the next lot. And then we, they get a broken mouth, which is anywhere from probably eight upwards. Yeah. That's when yeah. they can't eat anymore. Yeah. 
So the lambs get butchered between 12 and 18 months old when they're weighing between 45 and 55 kilos usually and that should result in about 25 kilos dressed weight. We've been really fortunate to pick up these ewes at a great price. The ewes were about $200 each and we got our ram lamb for $300. We've now got our five ewes and our ram lamb and they're settling in really well. Now if we were to butcher those animals at this time that would cost us about $70 for the slaughtering and the butchering and we'd end up with about 25 kilos per animal in meat. We've paid $200 per ewe. Add $70 for slaughtering and butchering that'd be $270 to get that animal in your freezer. Now that works out if you get about 25 kilos from each animal that works out about $10 a kilo for your lamb. Now we bought some lamb from the shops yesterday, not a great cut, but it was $32 per kilo. So you can see already that buying your own and having them slaughtered and butchered works out much more economical. We're not going to be doing that with these animals. We're going to be breeding from them. So the price that that lamb is costing us when we're butchering the offspring will be even less. One of our main concerns when buying meat from the supermarket is that we don't know the conditions that those animals have been living in. However, with our own livestock, we know that all of our animals are leading happy, healthy, stress-free lives. And that is so important for our animal husbandry. Also, well, by avoiding the commercial slaughterhouse process, we're ensuring a much more stress-free environment by doing everything on farm. Sheep are a really great option for the small homesteader on our farm we're already really well set up with excellent fencing for the goats of course, probably overkill for the sheep. Also our race, all of our yards and everything, perfect for those smaller animals. So if you're on a smaller property, sheep are a really great option. As you can see we're well underway to future proofing ourselves against price rises and becoming much more self-sufficient. If you'd like to know more about what we do on the farm and how we make our money here, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, whatever it is to never miss a video and we'll catch you next time.